All right, so before we start the video, we are gonna do one control test. And we are gonna do a control test really quick to see if the DeWalt and Milwaukee require a special battery to win over the Hilti when it comes to these versus videos. Now what we have here is we have a five amp hour regular battery and a four amp hour regular battery. And we have a four amp hour regular battery for the Hilti. Ready, go. Time, it's in all the way. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so off to the video. So alrighty, today what we are going to do is we are going to see if the Milwaukee can redeem itself when it comes to versus the Hilti. Now what we have here is a 8 amp hour battery high output from uh, Milwaukee and we have an 8 amp hour Hilti battery. So, so this is going to be a good one. Let's see if the Milwaukee could redeem itself. Look at the specs really quick. The Hilti is model number uh, SF6HA22. Uh, two speed settings. Uh, first speed is 0 to 490 RPM. Speed 2, 0 to 2000 RPMs. And 708 inch pounds of torque. All right, we got an 8 amp hour battery on there. Battery is full. The Milwaukee, model number 2804-20. Two speed settings. Uh, speed 1 is 0 to 550, speed 2, 0 to 2000, and the beats per minute, 0 to 32,000. So this has 1,200 inch-pounds of torque, so like I said in the previous video, the Milwaukee should have won the last video based on specs, because the torque is through the roof compared to Hilti. So battery is full, let's see what these two can do. So we are going to start off small. We're going to do a one inch uh, spade bit first. Uh, speed two, it's on drill. Battery is full. We're going to do two holes and we're going to do uh, two holes of each tool and take the best time and that's the winner of that task. Ready? Go. Time. We're going to do one more hole. Ready, go. Time. Alrighty, that is the Milwaukee. And like I said in previous videos, I do not know what the results are until I edit the video. Let's do Hilti. Speed two, it's on drill. Battery is full, eight amp hour. Ready, go. Do one more. Ready, go. Time. We are gonna do one hole with the one and one eighth. All right, so ready, go. Time. Time for Hilti. All right, so ready, go. Bet it's stuck on, yep. There we go. We are going to time one hole with a three, uh, three quarter inch drill bit. We're gonna do one hole each, then we'll do three holes and see who has the best time. All right, so ready, go. 
Nope, that doesn't count. That fed into the other hole. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, it is Hilti's turn. Ready, go. Time. Doesn't matter if we get caught, got caught it or not. The time is the time. If the Hilti loses, it lost. These are the most powerful drills on the market. So these, if there's a knot, this, these should drive through them like nothing. All right, so like I said in a previous video, if a tool stalls out and cannot redeem itself immediately, that tool lost. All right, so ready, go. All right, it's time for Hilti. All right, so ready, go. Oh, that was... I took a little bit to punch through. Uh, I feel the Milwaukee one on that one. All righty, so we got a piece of four by four here. We're gonna do Milwaukee first. We got a drill, speed two. The battery is at full bar still. All right, so ready, go. Hoop. I forgot. Ready, go. Time. Tilty's turn. All right, so ready, go. I feel like Hilti won on that one. Alrighty, we're gonna do a simple uh, timber lock screw test. We're just gonna do two of them. No, no reason to do more. Speed two, it's on drill. Ready, go. Time. Take that out it's a smidge. A little bit more. There we go. All right, one more. Go. Time. All right, it is the, the Hilti's turn. Ready, go. Time. One more. Ready, go. Time. Alrighty, we are gonna take them uh, two out at once. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, Hilti's turn. I am gonna take, when it comes to that, when it's skipped, I am gonna take that time out. All right, so ready, go. Alrighty, so we're gonna put in two five inch uh, lags and see which one prevails. All right, so we're gonna do Milwaukee first. I uh, got on speed one, it's on drill. Gotta keep it in between my legs. All right, so ready, go. Time. Oh, we got stuck in there. Time for Hilti, got on speed one, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Time. I stripped that one, that one's in there. 
All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, so let's. Uh, So, it is Hilti's turn, got a speed one, it's on the drill. Let's see what it takes to take it out. All right, so ready, go. Time. Time, time, time. For the last test, what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a one and one eighth self-driving spade bit. We're gonna do it on two settings, speed one and speed two. Moment of truth. Let's see if the Milwaukee could redeem itself. So ready? All right, so. We are actually gonna redo that. All right, we're gonna ignore that hole because I have to put the, uh, the, handle, the handles on. All right, so speed one, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Uh, slowly take it out. There we go. We clear everything. All right, so ready. It's on speed one. It's on drill. Ready. Go. Perfect. Oh, gotta put that down. Let's take it out slowly. Is this right here is the most impressive test on time? We're gonna go to speed two. Batteries on full. Ready? Go. Time. Drill speed two. The battery is full. All right. So, ready? Go. Time. That is time. Alrighty, so, and like I said uh, earlier, I do not know what the results are. They both are fantastic uh, hammer drills. And so, yes, the, the, the tool only, they cost about the, almost the same. But the difference with Hilti, once you turn this into a kit, it's double the price than what uh, the Milwaukee would be because the Hilti batteries and uh, bag, that's all sold separately. So tool only, about the same kit. This one costs like twice as much. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do this test really quick and see what the difference is between the 8 amp hour high output versus the 8 amp hour for the Hilti. So please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I got plenty of versus videos and unboxing videos coming up. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.